freaking Valentine's Day. I do, man. I hate Valentine's Day, man, because it's a setup. And to quote the great Lawrence Taylor, when he got busted in Myrtle Beach for soliciting a young girl, I was set up by the man. <laughs> And I know the fellas out there listening can relate, man. I mean, Valentine's Day is a big setup. It's a big setup. And especially when you've been uh, together for, with one person for an extended period of time. Me and the old lady been married, uh, I think this is the 22nd year. Right. We got married in 1995, I believe. Don't, don't tell her. I think 1995, August of 1995. So we like in our 22nd year, man. And every year it just gets harder, 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 and harder. Well, just play it safe, Dougie, and go get us some flowers. Uh, but if you get flowers, you got a flowers last year. You didn't put a lot of thought into it. Or what about a card? A card doesn't seem like it's enough. Or what about some chocolates? Oh, you get a chocolate, she going to say, oh, you trying to get me to gain some weight? You want me to be fat? Can't get chocolates. What about trying to do something special? I mean, something that you normally don't do. Well, you just did that last week. What about dinner? We done been to dinner 50, 11 times. What? So I, I, I don't know what to do on Valentine's Day, man. Every year, more and more as the years pass, man, I just scratch my head like, what am I going to do now? You know, you don't want to make it commercial. You don't want to materialize Valentine's Day and get some type of big electronics thing or whatever. That's not sexy. You know? So I don't know. I'm going to tell you all what I did. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. We're going to talk about these sports here in a second. Uh, UConn women make it look easy. Uh, who cares if they, if they like each other? The Giants make some cuts. Johnny Football possibly up north. Uh, Sandusky family. Evidently, the whole family are a bunch of pervs. Yeah, as well as uh, look out for the Atlanta Hawks. So we'll get to all of that today, but. And you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm posing this question. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. I'm, I'm posing this question really to the ladies, man. Okay, knowing my situation, knowing the background, I just told you. And, and today's dedicated to all of the beautiful ladies uh, of the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Shut up! It is! Once again, if you're new to the show, a little controversy between me and the ladies. Don't pay it any mind, though. So I'm asking the ladies out there, man, listening to the show. Like, like, what's good and what's bad? I'm going to tell you what I did. And don't go back and tell uh, the wife, you know, this ahead of time. But I already got their gifts. So this morning when they woke up, I just said happy Valentine's to the wife and to the, to the baby girl, the LOP, the life of the party, the leader of the pack. I says, happy Valentine's, y'all. I usually give them their Valentine's little gifts or whatever, you know, before they get going on their day, before they go to school or before they go to work and talking about the wife. So this morning, I says, you know what? Uh, I got y'all something, which I know they probably thought I was lying. But I do have them something. I got y'all something, but I'll tell you what. I'm going to give it to y'all later on this evening because you're rushing around and, you know, it's just, it's just you know, we're going to do it later today. And the wife was like, okay, no problem, it's good. So I got a little bit of time. I'm asking the ladies in the chat on Spreaker.com, will I get slapped in the face? Will I be ignored? Will I have to sleep on the couch if I give my lady some old school chocolates? <laughs> right. I went back to like 1985. Well, I bought the little heart chocolates. Like, I haven't gotten chocolates in a long time. And I think the last time I bought her chocolates, she had an attitude with it because at the time, she said she was trying to lose weight. So she thought it was insensitive that I gave her chocolates. So I'm giving her chocolates now saying, I don't care about your weight. You don't need to lose any weight. I'm giving you chocolates. It's, it's all love. Happy Valentine's Day, baby. So is it going to backfire on me? Is she going to be mad that I got her the bootleggers, most simple, most elementary gift of all time, chocolates? Or is she going to say, you know what, that's, that's pretty nice of him. Thank you. Thank you. What is she going to say? Uh, 
I mean, what is she going to say, ladies? Would that be okay if I reach back? I haven't given her chocolates in a long time. Is she going to be okay with me reaching back into Valentine's gifts from yesteryear and getting her chocolates? Or, you know, should I have done something else? Once again, I've done everything many, 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 many times over and over again. So I'm kind of lost. I don't know what to do from here. You know, is it okay? Uh, somebody said in the chat room, get her a diamond ring. Man, I ain't had a job in four years. I ain't getting nobody no damn diamond ring. If you think them $4 premium subscriptions going to get a diamond ring, you are sadly mistaken. <laughs> so she ain't getting no damn diamond ring. You know, maybe sometime down the road or, or whatever. She's gotten diamonds and jewelry, all of that stuff before when I was gainfully employed. She can't get no diamond ring this year. She can't get a diamond ring. And I don't want to get something cheap. My man Coop says, pretty cheap gift, Doug. Well, you talking about the damn chocolates. I don't know. I mean, but we working on a budget once again. So I didn't want to get something like jewelry or whatever. And then I can't get the top quality jewelry once again because of my uh, economic situation right now. So I couldn't get jewelry. I'm not going to get no bootlegged jewelry, no cheap jewelry. So I don't get jewelry at all. I mean, I get you chocolates, and you're my sweetie, and it's Valentine's Day, and happy Valentine's Schmalentine's Day. That's it. What? <laughs> oh, here we go. Angry black man, get your pillow for the couch, Doug. <sighs> From ducking and dodging, you figured Doug would be an expert at this. That's the problem. And those messages came from the chat room on Spreaker.com. But that's the problem. I am such an uh, 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 expert at this because I've done it so many years. You know, and it's not going to get any easier. You know, 20 years from now, it's going to be 40 years of marriage. And that's a good thing. Uh, like they said on, on, on Living Color, we still together. We still together, but damn it, it's harder and harder each year to figure out a damn freaking stinking ass Valentine Schmalentine's gift. What are your thoughts? That's just keeping it real. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Y'all really trying to set me up. Y'all really trying to set me up. My man Chuchi in the chat room on Spreaker.com says, Skillet in pots. Oh, no, you can't do that. <laughs> I've done that before. You're trying to be funny. You're trying to set me up. No, you can't get any houseware type things. You know, I got, I get some pots or I get something that, that, that's reasonable that she could use in everyday life. It's not really a gift. It's something to help her do chores. I've got that before. I remember one Valentine's Day or one Christmas or whatever, I got her this nice, like, Adidas warm-up suit. You know, like a pink Adidas warm-up suit. Oh, oh, you saying I'm fat? I need to work out? That's what you saying? What damn? <laughs> Fellas, has that ever happened to you? Like, I bought her this real nice Run DMC style Adidas sweatsuit. It was pink and like, you know, a dark pink as the stripes and the, and the, and the sweatsuit was pink. And I bought her the sneakers, the, the shell toe Adidas with the pink stripes. I mean, it was matching. It was fly as hell. And her response was, not that day, not that time. She looked at it. And she was like, yeah, she had a half-ass smile on her face. And she put it back in the box. And then a couple of days later, a couple of days or weeks later, she's like, so you bought me that jogging suit because you said I need to lose weight? Is that what you're trying to say? No, man, I'm not saying that. So bottom line is, you damned if you do, you damned if you don't, man. I have no idea about Valentine's Valentine's Day. 